Wow. It's kind of nostalgic. I'm getting a little emotional. Oh, sorry. You guys just made me cry on camera. What's up, GQ? This is Lil Nas X, and this is my style history. Oh my god, how did you guys find this? <laughs> how did you find this? You've been trying to scrub this. Oh my god. Okay, well, this is from like one of my first music videos for a song called Carry On that I think I have a pending lawsuit for. Well, I was wearing those big feline boots that everybody was wearing that year, some rep jeans, and this really nice yellow jacket, you know? Do you still have that jacket? I actually do still have that jacket. I think it's somewhere put up in my closet or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's iconic right there. That's actually the jacket on the cover of my first EP too. It was one of the only outfits I ever had at that time. If you could go back and like, just send your voice to you at this time, what would you say? I probably wouldn't say anything because I'd probably throw him off track and he wouldn't be here. I just let him like you as like watch him from a distance. Cause if I tell him, yo, you're gonna make it, then he'd be comfortable, you know. Let's see the next one. This is me performing at the 2019 VMA Awards. Oh my god, this outfit I actually almost got burned alive. Cause this outfit was supposed to light up, you know, you're supposed to see pink lights, but now you just see like this white outfit and whatnot. So right before the performance, my outfit started to smoke, you know. Oh shit. And you know, I thought I was gonna have like a really bad accent. I was like, this is gonna be iconically terrible. But luckily I didn't catch on fire. I finished the performance. Would I wear it again? No. Nah. Were you scared in that moment? I was definitely a little scared. I was like hoping like, you know, I would make it to the performance without like dying or anything. <laughs> I wanted to have like this futuristic looking outfit. It's supposed to light up on the chest, I think the knees, the arms, like a lot of this outfit was supposed to light up. Even the shoes. Kind of like Tron. Yeah, I guess it does give Tron vibes. So I guess I succeeded, huh, since you say Tron. What does the 73 mean? I forgot why I chose that number 73, but you know. It's better than 69. <laughs> 69. It's like the sex number, guys. You are the most casual person in this photo. I am, huh? I never thought about that. How often does that happen? It happens a lot. I like to be comfortable, and that was a really comfortable outfit, especially if I'm gonna be drunk as fuck off my ass. Do you remember this night, or is it like a blur? I feel like this was probably VMA's night of 2019, possibly. Just a big tee and some black jeans, nothing crazy. Looks like an Ed Hardy tee. Is it Ed Hardy? I don't think it's Ed Hardy. Ed Hardy-esque, maybe. Ed Hardy-esque. The woman on the left in the pink is Hodo. She's my stylist, the best stylist of all time. DJ Broadway, you can tell who he is because he outdressed everyone in this picture. And two guys, take a date trip, those are my producers. They're really amazing and unbeatable. Definitely one of the best outfits I've ever worn. Ooh, this is BT Awards right here. This came out really nice. This is probably the heaviest outfit I've ever worn. Yeah, you say you're like a comfort guy, and this doesn't look comfort to me. That was not comfortable, but it was definitely worth it. Very much hard to walk in, and I almost fell like a million times, but at least I looked good. I was like, wow, who's that hot guy falling? I was like, <laughs> it's me. Uh, you wore two outfits this night. Yeah. They were both really great, and I was like, I have to get these both out there, you know? I feel like it's the first time I've ever went to a red carpet and left and then came back to the red carpet. Where are you going and changing? I went to the BT Awards bathroom and changed like in like two minutes yeah. and like had to do it really fast and then run back out before the show started and I had to go and get ready to perform. Your yeah. chest looks great. Psh, really great chest. Is that wax or shave? I don't really wax or shave. My chest hair just started growing in recently, I believe. Still <laughs> got a few more years of puberty. Ah, that this is a fave. Christopher John Rogers. She's amazing. Look at this outfit. This is like Prince inspired. One of my first like, outward, colorful, flamboyant outfits I feel like I wore in, pu in public. And if you look at the pictures of the audience, you would spot me immediately because there's literally nobody else who's like wearing these vibrant ass colors. Oh, like when the camera pans, you know exactly where yeah, you're Yeah, they're going. like, oh, found a little nice. yeah. People were like saying I look like a Batman villain. Yeah. And I was like, thanks. Like Riddler or something? No, 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 not Riddler. They said someone else, I forgot who. Now you look like a JoJo character. Yeah, they said JoJo character too, right? How'd that make you feel? I don't know, I think that's really sick because the characters are all really nice, well-dressed, you know? That's true. Really cool looks. <laughs> oh my God. This outfit was very much traumatizing. I was feeling really comfortable. And then, you know, as I saw the pictures of it, I just, I felt really terrible. <laughs> oh my God, it's a meme now though, so I guess that's a good part. What's the meme? 
Just this is the meme. Like that's the meme. <laughs> I think I saw some people saying you look like someone from SSS Tricky. Yeah, that was one of the most popular ones too. But you know what? It's pretty iconic. Ten years from now, you're gonna be like, wow. Yeah. Look what Lil Nas X did. Look what he wore. It was hard for me to ID like where the shirt was from. Yeah, it was hard for me to look at it too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll wear that for Halloween this year. I'll be Lil Nas X from the um, snowboarding game. Mmm, this is Met Gala. This was a moment. And this is my first Met. I feel like I really actually just went out there and smashed it. Not to toot my own horn. Beep, beep. This is one of the greatest weekends of my life. Versace and Hodo did their thing. Those golden abs. I look like a superhero. There's a couple of inspirations people say, like... They better not... Don't show me the CP30 thing. Uh, you showed me it. I haven't watched Star Wars yet. What? Um, I haven't watched Lord of the Rings yet either. Or, Star Wars. or The Godfather, a lot of those popular movies. Do you watch Steven Universe? I think you look a little bit like Yellow Diamond. Yellow, you know what? I was actually gonna commission somebody to like take these outfits and like position them as the diamonds, you know? The robe would be like Blue Diamond. And maybe, I don't know who who I would be in this like cat suit. Maybe that's White Diamond or- Yeah, I don't who's know. gonna be the other diamond? Yeah, who's gonna be Pink Diamond though? Yo. Fuck Pink Diamond. Ah, uh, we love Pink Diamond, you know? She <laughs> did what she had to do. I actually love that you've never seen Star Wars, but you love Steven Universe. Yeah, I feel like Star Wars is decent, but Steven Universe is next level. Wow, I love this outfit. This is a fun night. I feel like I met someone this night and then had a relationship with them. Did not end well. Uh, this outfit though, right? And you know, you got this little kind of see-through, what's the word? It's like mesh. Mesh, mesh shirt. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I felt like Tom Cruise. Is that real snakeskin? No. We love animals. Oh, this is VMAs and the Grammys. One of my favorite ones and one of the more known ones, the pink. Versace? Yeah, Versace. Versace, Versace. Versace, Versace. I guess this is the harness that really gave it to, to the people, you know? It's like a BDSM cowboy. Yeah, it was like, they were like, okay, the harness. We're feeling it now. Yeah. It was the most probably, probably the most gay cowboy look of all time. I think what's so cool about this is you're taking like a look that's like so quintessentially Americana and then like fucking it up, like making it completely different. What was, did you get like backlash from that? Mm, no, no, but you know what I do see a lot of? They'll be like rappers in my day and they'll have Tupac and they'll be like rappers now and it'll be a picture of me in the cowboy pink outfit. It's like, what? <laughs> so since when did you care about Tupac's fashion sense? Mm. This is a fun one. It looks really hot, sexy, spicy. That's Versace. I'm getting like a little bit of Prince, but a lot of Rick James. I got a lot of those comments. But were you weren't thinking that going in? Not at all. Uh, I want to try different kinds of wigs though. I feel like I've done this one before. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to have like some kind of cool mohawk. I'm going to bring mohawks back. Oh shit, like a tall one? Is there like a Travis Bickle style? Like taxi we'll driver? Maybe I shave my head bald and tattoo a mohawk there. Tattoo mohawk? This is fun. This is a really fun time in my life. Looking back on it, I was too in my head, but this is a fun time. This outfit was hot as fuck. And I was literally going around, passing out gift cards to people, and it was like, hey, check out my new song, Holiday. Check out my new song in this hot, burning outfit. I'm going to get out here and do what I need to do to get these numbers, baby. And it worked. It definitely worked. Why did you make a Holiday song? Do I make a holiday song? You know what's funny? I actually made the song like eight months in advance and it was already called Holiday. And I was like, you know what? Let's put this together and let's say, okay, this we're doing the Christmas theme. I had a lot of fun. I feel like that whole era, it was almost like, oh shit, like Lil Nas X is like family friendly now. And then you drop like, Call Me By Your Name. Were you pulling a bait and switch on us or what's the deal? It was supposed to be Call Me By Your Name first, but then um, we had some things happen. And Holiday isn't family friendly. Like, I'm really in this song saying I got holes on holes. Like, it's like, I don't know where family friendly came from. I guess the Santa Claus is associated with family and love, but you know, not this one. That's St. Nas X. Literally talking about bottoming in the song. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's continue. Yep. Ooh, the BT Awards again. Okay, this is iconic. This is legendary. This is necessary. I feel like I had to shit before this performance. It was so nerve-wracking going out there in front of all those people, especially like other rappers and whatnot, in my little skirt and twerking and singing Call Me By Your Name. Very fun performance though. I would wear this again, maybe to like some kind of party or something in Hollywood and just like randomly show up like this, right? Yeah. This is a 100 out of 10. 
Oh my God. I think this is one of my first flights ever. I wore the hell out of that Nike shirt. I thought that was the best shirt of all time. <laughs> I feel like this is when I first got to Los Angeles and like everything was starting to happen. You know, Old Town Road has just taken off. I recorded Panini in this shirt. I went to the Lakers game in this shirt. I met the people at the label, went to the TikTok uh, headquarters. I even went to Apple, the Beats One radio thing. This is all in one day, by the way. I did so much shit in one day in this shirt. You still have it? Ah, uh, I don't know. I think I got rid of it. But you got the picture? Yeah, I got a lot of pictures of this shirt. So you're the kind of guy that takes selfies in an airplane bathroom? Then, at that time. I mean, because it's like, how many times do you get on an airplane at that time, you know? Mm -hmm. It was like probably my second flight ever. I was like, holy shit. Sup guys, post the Instagram. Oh, this. This is from the best music video of all time. Call me by your name. The denim, everything. Even the nails, that's fire. Marge was not a reference. I just saw other people saying it, so I was like, ah, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Why do you have the actual, like, scan of this? <laughs> like, how did you possibly get that? This is like my performance at the Grammys. There was a big Nas and Lil Nas, and we made Nas squared. It was pretty cool. Did you know in this performance that entire back was open the whole time and I couldn't turn around? No. Yeah, I couldn't turn around. And what's the inspiration here? Like a punk rock slash blade slash... I get some Matrix in there. Yeah, Matrix too. I was trying to get to get her. I was gonna get around to it. Wow. It's kind of nostalgic. I'm getting a little emotional. Um, this one, this was at the Tom Ford event which I was invited to. This is actually a women's suit that I made fit me. Yeah. Uh, this is really fun. I had a great night there. Miley was there. I think Sierra was there. This is just a good time. And the outfit, I would wear it again. Actually, I probably wouldn't because I think the button popped at the end of the night. Could not take Lil Nas X. What is it about it that makes, it, makes you emotional? Uh, about what? About the outfit or looking no, at No, it's color. just like going through all of these. I'm like, wow. It's been a journey. Yeah. Yeah. All right, final one coming up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God. This is funny. Cause it, looks, Cause it looks like a banana's in my hand, but it's really like the phone. I've never seen a phone in a hotel bathroom, <laughs> except at this hotel. This is probably the first hotel that I went to. Oh my God. This, these scrim trunks. I forgot where I got these from. Was it H&M? I don't know. But I thought these were fire. Uh, this is probably one of the best days of my life. What happened that day? Uh, I think this is still the same day as like the, um... The Nike? The Nike, the Nike shirt. I was posting so much. I would post like 30 times a day because everything is just so new. Um, aw. Um, yeah. It's like a different person you're looking at here. It's like a different person. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna cry, baby. Um, yeah. That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, I will wear, I still have these swimming trunks. I still have these swimming trunks. What was your favorite outfit of all? My favorite one? Um, that Nike shirt. That Nike shirt did something, man. Now, I've probably met Gala. I'm gonna remember that Met Gala. That was super fun. You guys just made me cry on camera. I'm sorry. It's sweet though, it's beautiful. God, you're gonna make me cry. All right, we gotta cut, let's cut, we're done. <laughs>